Hello viewers, this is Dikshit Kumar. So you can see the details of socket and spigot quarter joint. Now let us make this part number one that is socket. So this is the front and this is the top view. You can see this is the front view. You can note down all the dimensions. This is the top view. Here the 64 diameter is given for the bigger section. So let us start. Go to solid edge. Click on solid part. Go to named views. Set as ISO. And select protrusion. Select front reference plane. Take circle by center. And from this center you have to draw a circle. And using smart dimension I will fix the diameter. So the diameter is 64 mm. So click on return. So the distance of protrusion is 25 mm. Click. Finish. Cancel. Again click on protrusion. Now you have to select this face. Take circle by center. Just probe the center like this. And from the same center, draw one more circle. Now using smart dimension, I'll fix this dimension. So this is 45 mm. Click on written. Now the distance of protrusion is 89 minus 25. You can refer the drawing for that. So it is 64 mm. Just click finish cancel again click on protrusion and you have to select this face now take circle by center probe the center and from this center draw circle using smart dimension fix this it is 25 mm so 25 mm dia it is a shaft click on return so length of shaft i'll fix as 30 and to click finish cancel can see the steps are done now next i will be doing this taper section you can note on this 33.25 so it is through 45 mm length for that i will take cut out i will select right reference plane i will zoom this much area now we will take line so i will just draw profile like this Now using smart dimension, I will fix the dimension. So this one, it is 33.25 plus 25 minus 22. You can refer drawing for this. So the length becomes 36.25. And from this end, so it is fixed. So it is fixed to a distance of 22. Now I'll fix this from here to here. I will set as 0. Also from here to here. I will set as 0. Now this length. You can refer the calculation. It is there in the below description. So this will become 34.75. Now this is the taper. Now I have to extend this. For that I will just take a line. I will draw a line like this on the top and also on the bottom. I will select extend to next. I will extend this line to top as well as to the bottom. Similarly this line extend to top as well as to the bottom now using trim command i will trim all these lines also you have to trim this line now this will become the cutting profile you have to just click on return select cutout symmetric extent so the distance is 7.5 mm just enter Click on finish, cancel. Now to do the round on this cutout, I will just zoom in. So I will hide these planes for that. Click here construction display. You can hide all planes. Click here, click on OK. Now the planes are gone. Now 
you have to click on visible and hidden edges just click here so you can see all the hidden edges now select round set the radius as 7.5 divided by 2 that is 3.75 so you have to select all these edges click on accept preview finish cancel now again click on shaded with visible edges so you can see the round here now you have to make a cutout here for that select cutout select this face take circle probe the center now from the center you have to draw a circle using smart dimension I will fix the diameter as 30 mm so click on return so the length of cutout is 89 minus 12.5 mm so it is 76.5 click here finish cancel you can see the cutout I will set as ISO and fit now you have to make all the unmentioned radii so that is a round of 3 mm for that select round set the radius as 3 mm enter select all these edges click here on the opposite click here click here also this edge and also the inner you want you have to select this also the inner click on accept preview finish cancel so you can see all the rounds are made set as ISO now I'll make a chamfer chamfer I'll give the setback as 3 mm 3 enter for the shaft accept preview cancel now the model is complete you have to add material for this set as ISO I will bring back the planes for that show all planes ok now go to tools material table so the material for the socket is FE 410W apply to model now go to file file property go to summary so here you have to type the title as socket socket I will copy this right click copy click on ok now I will save this click on save again check for the summary so socket click on ok now this is my folder I will open the assembly so this is socket and spiger quarter joint folder I have already created this so open this and I will paste as socket so I will click on save you can see the part has been saved as socket so that's it we have completed the socket thank you for watching